sweat, pistol packing, deeply religious and violently profane, a strange combination of fire and ice. I thought I would stand up here and let you people see if I am as big a son of a bitch as some of you think I am. <laughs> Great World War II movies based on true events. When it comes to war movies, there's no doubt that one thing that adds to the drama and believability is if the movie follows true life stories. When it comes to life and death, if you can relate to real life experience, it brings the story closer to home. There were few real life events that we can all agree triggers our emotions more than war. Let's take a look at these great World War II movies that are based on true events in both the European and Pacific theatres. Not all, but a sample today. Let me know what your favourites are in the comments. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Here we go. Tora Tora Tora, 1970, directors Richard Fleischer, Kinji Fukasaku, Toshio Masuda. The story of the 1941 Japanese air raid on Pearl Harbor and the series of preceding American blunders that aggravated its effectiveness. Stars Martin Balsam, So Yamamura, Jason Robards. Tora Tora Tora, an unprecedented film bringing you answers to one of the most controversial mysteries of our age. How could the attack on Pearl Harbor have happened? Colonel, sir, if we do spot something, what do we do? Report it to headquarters, damn it. How, sir? We haven't got a telephone, sir. There's a gasoline station about a mile down the road. They must have a phone. Why was one nation unprepared while another was geared for war? Why did the plan for the sneak attack split the Japanese high command wide open? We should have stayed in San Diego where it belongs. I made the mistake of pointing that out to Roosevelt. Why was Admiral Yamamoto marked for assassination by the Japanese warlords? Does anybody trust anybody anymore? Why was the President of the United States office considered a security risk? How did the Japanese rehearse their doomsday attack on Pearl Harbor? Damn it, why can't Washington give us the full inside story? Why did they keep the American command in the dark? What part was played by the strange Japanese officer they called Gandhi? How did U.S. intelligence know of the attack before the Japanese ambassador did? What was the fateful blunder made by Admiral Nagumo? How was a mighty Japanese task force able to race 4,000 miles across the Pacific undetected? What caused the notorious radar error? Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Here's a message to the commanding general of Fort Chapter. Uh, is it marked urgent? No. Why was Washington's last urgent warning sent by ordinary telegram? <laughs> the sun came up, the bombs came down, and the world came apart. For the first time, a motion picture tells what really happened at Pearl Harbor. Patton, 1970. Director, Franklin J. Schaffner. The World War II phase of the career of controversial American general George S. Patton. Stars George C. Scott, Carl Malden, Stephen Young. Swag, pistol packing, deeply religious and violently profane. A strange combination of fire and ice. I thought I would stand up here and let you people see if I am as big a son of a bitch as some of you think I am. <laughs> Just so you can make a bigger splash than Monty, 
about 15 minutes, we're going to start turning these boys into fanatics. They'll lose their fear of the Germans. And I hope to God they never lose their fear of me. Commence firing. Magnificent bastard, I read your book! God help me, I do love it so. I love it more than my life. There he goes, old blood and guts. Yeah, our blood. His guts. You got four hours to break through that beachhead down there. If you don't make it by then, I'll fire you! Colonel, there are 50,000 men on this island who'd like to shoot that son of... Almighty Father, we humbly beseech thee to hearken to us as soldiers who call upon thee. It's my nerves, sir. I... Oh, hell, you're just a damn coward. If you won't let me kill the enemy, why did you pick me to command? I didn't pick you. I picked you. You're one of the best field commanders I've got, but you don't know when to shut up, George. You're a pain in the neck. General! Berlin! I'm gonna personally shoot that paper hanging son of a <laughs> Chaplain, I'm sick and tired of Third Army having to fight the Germans with Supreme Command, no gasoline, and now this ungodly weather. I want a prayer, a weather prayer. Well, I don't know how this is gonna be received, General. Praying for good weather so we can kill our fellow man. Well, I can assure you, sir, because of my intimate relations with the Almighty, if you write a good prayer, we'll have good weather. God, I'm proud of you. I would be proud to lead you wonderful guys into battle anytime, anywhere. All right, now you sons of bitches, you know how I feel. That's all. Bridge Too Far, 1977. Director, Richard Attenborough. Operation Market Garden, September 1944. The Allies attempt to capture several strategically important bridges in the Netherlands in the hope of breaking the German lines. Stars, Sean Connery, Ryan O'Neill, Michael Caine. We shall seize the bridges, it's all a question of bridges, with thunderclap surprise, and hold them until they can be secured. And we go next Sunday. Seven days. The sooner we go, the better. You've got them on the run. Based on Cornelius Ryan's international bestseller. The story of the most dramatic and devastating battle of World War II. The plan is called Operation Market Garden. Market is the airborne element and garden the ground forces. I like to think of this as one of those American Western films. Germans will naturally, they're the bad guys. We, my friends, are the cavalry on the way to the rescue. In Dirk Bogart, James Kahn, Michael Caine, Sean Connery, Edward Fox, Elliot Gould, Gene Hackman, Anthony Hopkins, Hardy Kruger, Lawrence Olivier, Ryan O'Neill, Robert Redford, Maximilian Schell, Lee Ullman. Take cover! Don't you think that since we know that Arnhem is so crucial to their safety, they might know that too? The river's wide and that the current is strong. Hail Mary, I love grace. If there's any more cheery information comes my way, I'll just be too happy to pass it along. In the meantime, just think of this as on-the-job training. They're 36 hours behind schedule. There's a battle, and we are in the process of winning it. Winning and losing is not our concern. Living or dying is. Well, if you don't look at him right now, he's gonna die. Dead now. Right now. I can give him a quick examination tonight. Thank you very much, sir. 
need reinforcements and above all ammunition. Tell the general we're coming. They're coming tonight. Two days, they said. We've been here nine. Why don't we just try to bash through? Well, as you'll know, I've always thought that we tried to go a bridge too far. Schindler's List, 1993. Director, Steven Spielberg. In German-occupied Poland during World War II, industrialist Oskar Schindler gradually became concerned for his Jewish workforce after witnessing their persecution by the Nazis. Stars Liam Neeson, Ralph Fiennes, Ben Kingsley. Yeah, why is top down? I'm fucking freezing. What's her name? Helen Hughes. Pearl Harbor, 2001. Director, Michael Bay. A tale of war and romance, mixed in with history. The story follows two lifelong friends and a beautiful nurse who are caught up in the horror of an infamous Sunday morning in 1941. Stars Ben Affleck, Kate Beckinsale, Josh Hartnett. I'm going to the war. Just make sure and come back for the both of us, all right? We've been trained to think we're invincible. But our people think Hitler and his Nazi thugs are Europe's problem. Does anyone think that victory is possible without facing danger? In times like these, we all need to be reminded who we truly are. Warning of Japanese aggressive movement. A date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by the Empire of Japan. We are at war. Tell that to the soldiers who today are hitting us. Enemy at the Gate, 2001. Director, Jean-Jacques Arnaud. A Russian and a German sniper play a game of cat and mouse during the Battle of Stalingrad. Stars Jude Law, Ed Harris, Joseph Fiennes. Yes. This is what I want you to do. Are you ready? Three, two, one. The Pianist, 2002. Director, Roman Polanski. During World War II, acclaimed Polish musician, Vladislav, faces various struggles as he loses contact with his family. As the situation worsens, he hides in the ruins of Warsaw in order to survive. Stars Adrian Brody, Thomas Kretschmann, Frank Finlay. The Germans are hunting down indiscriminately. No one knows you're here. I want to help. I want to do something. Don't let them get you alive. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? The Great Raid, 2005. Director, John Dahl. You, Taking Why place towards the end of World War II, 500 American soldiers have been entrapped in a camp for three years, beginning to give up hope they will ever yet. be rescued. A group of rangers goes on a dangerous mission to try and chance, save them. Stars Benjamin Bratt, Joseph Fiennes, James Franco. And so were the men inside. I'd spent the last three years thinking of all the things I want to say to her. This woman is the head of an underground movement. Who do you think smuggles all the medicine into the camp? This is not enough. Let's get out of here. It's a setup. Their mission was almost certain to fail. There's too many unknowns. They cannot guarantee the safety of those prisoners. 250 Japanese in that camp. Another thousand at the river. 10,000 more nearby. Only 120 of us. I figure we're gonna need a little miracle. She stayed behind in the Philippines to be near you. Do you have a reason to survive this war? 
I'd like to be here for your surrender. But when faced with the unthinkable... As we advance on this area, I believe the Japanese will murder these prisoners. They would try the impossible. Some things you gotta take on faith. Miramax Films presents the true story of the greatest rescue mission ever attempted. Dean Margaret, what a comfort it's been to know there's someone who desires our life more than our enemy desires our death. Without their hatred, there wouldn't be your love. And a moment in time when men of honor became soldiers of destiny. This is the kind of glory you carry inside you for the rest of your life. Nothing in our lives will ever be as important as this. Ready? Ready. It's time. Flags of Our Fathers, 2006. Director, Clint Eastwood. The life stories of six men who raised the flag at the Battle of Iwo Jima, a turning point in World War II. Stars Ryan Phillip, Barry Pepper, Joseph Cross. Defiance, 2008. Director Edward Swift. Jewish brothers in German occupied Eastern Europe escape into a Belarusian forest, where they join Russian resistance fighters and endeavor to build a village in order to protect themselves and about 1,000 Jewish non-combatants. Stars Daniel Craig, Liv Schreiber, Jamie Bell. When life flashes before us, we find something. Something that keeps us going. Nothing is impossible! What we all have done is impossible! Everybody get to stay! We have to be able to move to here. The Talmud says, if you save a life, you must take responsibility for it. And they spread the rumors. That you're no longer fit to lead us. Maybe they're right. Tibia, do we stay or go? We cannot make mistakes, Tuvia. Every day of freedom, act of faith. To live. Perhaps you uh, have room for one more. Valkyrie, 2008. Director Ryan Singer. A dramatization of the July 20, 1944 assassination and political coup plot by desperate renegade German army officers against Adolf Hitler during World War II. Stars Tom Cruise. Bill Nye, Carice Van Houten. Unbroken, 2014. Director, Angelina Jolie. After a near-fatal plane crash in World War II, Louis Zamperini spends a harrowing 47 days in a raft with two fellow crewmen before he's caught by the Japanese Navy and sent to a prisoner of war camp. Stars Jack O'Connell, Miyavi, Domhnall Gleeson. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Hit the notification bell to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel. The link's in the description. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.